Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, my name is Marco and today we are back with more monster episodes 19 and 20. So last time around we found out about Johan's split personality, his dual personality, right? And it does kind of make sense, but it was still very surprising and big reveal, man. Anna was shouting to Dr. Tenma that now it makes sense why she was said why she was told by Johan to shoot him right in the head. Perhaps he wanted to put an end on that other Johan, right, that killed their foster parents, man. So it's like his other personality is constantly like bloodthirsty, man, and wants to see people suffer. And that part of him is drawn to terror. So it was pretty, pretty fucking sad as well at the same time seeing Anna. Like realizing that and deciding to want to shoot him in the head once again. And obviously Tenma saw the message and the message was help me. The monster inside of me is going to explode, which is kind of to me implying that this is only the beginning of what the monster inside of Johan is actually capable of committing, man. So I have feeling that we might have even like greater greater murder cases man from now on which is going to be so messed up that goes without saying man and i really like the episode with mr rosso like monster has these like episodes that are kind of side stories right but they help us learn a lot about uh, certain characters and it was incredible how such a cheerful and positive uh, dude like Mr. Rosso who is crying watching films can actually be like a professional assassin man. that was honestly a big surprise and I like that in the end he was still Anna's friend and Anna still clearly liked him as well man. but they had to part ways Anna went inside of the train so she is continuing her journey of uh, trying to kill Johan right both Tenma and her, so yeah, that was pretty awesome. Also, shout out to his heckle and this rug that he stole. It actually uh, paid off nicely when it comes to uh, us literally preventing the fire in this whole like Turkish district, in the whole Frankfurt basically as well. And so that was a certain like plot. Uh, plot point where I thought was leading nowhere but in the end his rug actually saved the day basically so that was pretty nice uh, without further ado let's start episode number 19 let's begin guys all right guys everything is ready let's begin <laughs> さかせ、レコーディング。私は妻の言葉に耳を傾けるよりもこっちに耳を傾けているのがほとんどだったからね。そうです。あなたはただ人の心を覗く。異常だよ。This <笑> 彼女を切り刻んだ時、性的興奮を覚えたかい。What Oh my lord! Just eleven incidents. What is this conversation right now, man? Why am I like learning this, man? Ah. <sighs> So this guy is a doctor, but he's also like, I guess he might be, I guess he's like a psychologist, right? He's trying to talk to this murderer 
to see like what's going on inside of his head, man. But I find it kind of weird how he's asking him so casually about the sexual arousal while chopping off his victims, man. That's so fucking sick. Also, I'm so sorry, guys, if I feel a little bit down. I am extremely tired. I haven't slept uh, this shitty like for a long time and I just came back home from work. I'm really tired. I wonder if he will have some connection to... Johan, maybe Johan hired him for some murders or something. We will see. Monsters Abyss. Poor girls. So not only did he kill them, he also raped his will victims. Oh my god. But that 52-year-old woman case is different than the others. Is that Tenma's voice? I guess Tenma is a doctor as well. You'll be like, hell no, right? I don't know. And he's so casual, and Terma is all over the news for like serial killings. You have nothing but contempt for me, Feel that you despised me. Wow. Johan's message. The first message. Yeah, first it was it grown big and now it's about to explode. Yeah. There is like the continuation of the theme here. Okay, this is like logical conclusion to seek like advice from psychologist. It's not about that. Uh, it seems like he can't really tell how Tenma feels. Hardworking student. Okay. それまで突破を走っていた男を全機試験であっさり引きずり下ろしたのだ。こう聞いて。it is Tenma, and he saw him, man. And that shame. That seems like the case so far. For some reason, I don't think that's the case. Yeah, that seems like a the case with Johan is very charismatic. Imagine that. This recording was this from the beginning of the episode? Is he playing this conversation to that murderer dude? The monster he was talking about. <laughs> oh my god, the way he said Yamero. Yeah, and this guy is 
a little one of those monsters. Bro, did you just see what kind of crimes this guy committed? He should be fucking dead, man. He's gonna kill this dude. And he looks like a big dude. Disgusting swine. Oh my god, bro! Okay, see, he didn't get killed, he came to police, to snitch on Tenma. Okay, I don't like this fucker. So he's calling him criminal, he thinks that Tenma is indeed a criminal. It's, that's the place where the older lady killed. Where it's connected to that murder. The proof that monsters exist, man. This is so fucking unsettling. Immediately contacted them. What a fucking rat. The fact that he had to cheat to overtake Tenma as the top student, man. Let's see the truth about the monsters in the basement. He wouldn't say that without reason. Wait, is that him? Wait, is he her grandson? <gasps> That's a doll. Yes, he's the grandson. Oh, wait a minute. Did Johan really order him to kill? Bro, stop showing that doll. Oh, not Grandma. It's probably his mom. Jesus. We saw those pictures. Is that why what led him to become the monster? The abuse. Wait, that seems a little bit weird. Uh, I was about to say photoshopped, but look at the area uh, behind his head. It looks like it was cut, cut off and glued to the picture. And like it, it's not supposed to be there. Did he notice that? Yeah, peel it off. We don't know who is actually there. Each and every one of those pictures, man. Hmm. Letters from my friend. It's Johan. And that uh, lady might be one of the people that adopted Johan at some point. And he might be on those pictures. A letter demon. It's like Johan can smell like the troubled individuals that suffered in their life and make them work, devil work for him. 
そしてある日その手紙で呼び出されたんだある屋敷のものを持ってるんだろう<笑>なんであいつは俺の子供の頃を知ってるんだろうケンプ夫人の屋敷で俺は混乱したどういうことだケンプ夫人がやがってケンプ夫人を<笑>やつは手紙がその友達はケンプ夫人にも手紙を<笑> He's searching for letters Oh there is a chunk of them It is your handwriting. Is it the same handwriting? He's connecting that with Tenma story. Holy shit. Wow. So now he believes Tenma. So now that we know that Johan sent the same messages, but he already told. Inspectors that he will be here. It's too late. There he is. Isogashi to Rosmanai, Dudi. Kimi no ite no yoni wa inai. Kimi ga tsukuri dashita kaku no jinbutsu da to ne. Clearly not the case. Dudi, kite kure. Watashi wa. Ima, watashi wa yurugen to naru hanko ga atta nda. So na koto yori watashi no hanashi wa kite kure. Damn. It looks like Thelma wasn't anticipated this at all. They're gonna jump him. Oh. He might be actually able to escape. Why is he so stuck on that? Bruh. Wow! Okay, Rudy. Holy shit, man. Ooh, I like that, man. All right. A real quick redemption for Rudy, man. I love it. Most likely. さて、手も準備に回った。ヨハンは剣部夫人の元に寄生し、用がなくなった夫人を処分した。君が言うように過去を消すためかもしれない。君は無実だ。You're <笑> Exactly. He has like ability to manipulate like these sick individuals. しかし他にも考えられる。ヨハンはついに理想の家族を見つけ、そこに入り込んだ。だがなぜ過去を消そうとするんだ？何を？ さあ、バスターマジ。追跡の準備だ。はい。バスのチケット。ここを証明する道もあるぞ。私が協力する。レッツゴー。私は自分の無実を。エグゼクトリー。おお。やっ。ありがとう。ルーディ。ああ、そう
deep and hidden meaning. Oh, look at this one. It looks like the chubby dude ate. Ate it. But they are really, really, like, hard to get what they're trying to convey through these endings. And it's actually connected to the story. I have to admit that I have no clue. A really, really satisfying episode. Alright, episode 20, guys. Monster is written so well, so many interesting characters. We have, like, this character, Rudy, that I didn't really rock with, and in the end... I actually really like what he did. And then we had characters like uh, Dieter's foster parent who was like really nice and chill and then he turns out to be fucking sick, right? And then there are characters like Mr. Rosso who you think that they are so fucking nice and wholesome and tur it turns out that they are professional assassin but still a nice dude, man. Like there is so much v variety when it comes to these characters, man. Alright. What a lovely place. They're driving very fast. It's an older couple. <笑>私の年でこんな細かい地図は立派な地図 yeah, it's very risky to do that. Oh, I think it was Tenma. It's Tenma with Dieter. There they are. Okay. They seem like they implied that this older couple is from England. Journey to Reham. Good attack, Bitte. あ、イギリスの方ですか。フライハムに行きたいんですが。あ、えっと、今この辺りに。ことおなじめ。オッケー。さあ、さあ。プレッシャー。アバウトディスカップ。イズダデア。キンダホルソン。バイオンステイト。
Okay, this sounds very wholesome right now. But I have a feeling that this guy can smell that Tenma is in some sort of trouble. But he might really trust Tenma to be the good guy. And he has very neutral poker face. Hey, that seemed like a very fun little road trip. That's an Opel. Oh, they're out of gas. Oh, God. Is that the truck? Yeah, in the middle of nowhere. He's like, sucks to suck. Jones. Wow. Alright, that really sucks though. Oh, something, something is off here, guys. Oh, wow. I don't like this. He's eating a cookie that the lady gave him. He will be worried for them. They nailed like the sounds in this show, man. I've been saying how this show is realistic, but also when it comes to sound, it's so good. But there is a no close gas station. They're really still there depending on him. Somebody's gonna come, man. We know it's Thelma, bro. Thelma will send someone. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, it really looks beautiful, man. He's not a romantic type, or he's no longer. <laughs> he got sick of it. Wait. Oh my god, bro. They came all the way back on foot. Bro. Thelma is the gold. Thelma is such an inspiration, bro. Wow. And this dude was dubbing him. I really didn't realize that something like that was a possibility for them to come back on foot. Like, I wasn't thinking that we're heading into that direction. Oh, they're having a dinner. Ah, of course, the sausages. And ice cream for Dieter. おいしかったも美味しい食事がいただけたわ。ね。特にあのワイン。フォルスターウンゲホイヤ。寝れる。それそれ。本当に良かったわ。まあ、there's <laughs> <laughs> She's just like. Oh shit, I thought he was talking about Tenma. Oh shit, I thought he was talking about Tenma. Oh, I fucking knew it. 
I thought something like this can happen, but he can clearly tell that Emma is a good man now. Oh shit. It's not easy to figure that shit out, man. There are some pretty good actors out there. Okay, Is that a lake or something? They continue their little journey. Hell yeah, and to play football with them. Uh. Oh, is it green? Deter. <laughs> Okay, what are they actually looking for? Is a good question. The police. Oh my god. Okay, they will stay in car at least. Or maybe Thelma will escape. Why did they come to police though? Yeah, maybe they will. They. It would be a good idea to hide. Oh my god, bro. They are so fucking. persistent. and annoying. It's like they scan everything. Okay. They didn't try to push anything there. But why? Why such a sad face? What happened to these folks when they came here? Emma's gonna ask, isn't he? あの、この方角だと私たちの行きたいフライハムと逆方向なんですが、悪いな。時間は取らせないよ。シュタインバッハ城に行っちゃいものがあるんだ。Okay, this is getting a little bit concerning. Looks pretty cool. Uh, it's gonna be very tough to climb. Yeah, for their age. Oh my god, did they, something happen to their son? Okay. That's a view. Their son killed someone. こちらこそ心から礼を言うよ。ありがとう。したね。ああ。彼は連続殺人の容疑で追われている男だ。He fucking knows. まさかあの人が。いや、確かだ。以前彼の手配写真。He saw it in the news. だって現に今日ロバートを逮捕。But he made the judgment that he's a good person, right? 
私も以前彼の写真を見た時疑問に思ったそして会って確信した彼は無実<笑>少なくとも悪人じゃない殺人を犯した私が身内でさえ見抜く目がなかったそう思った時私は刑事を辞めた I love this show. だがね、私の目に人は罪を犯したが悪人なんかじゃない。<笑> Just like that man. さあ、会いに行こう。ロバート。Let's go see Robert. <laughs> yeah, they came to jail, right? And to actually see face to face with their son and to ask him what actually happened, probably, and why he did it. Man, that made me so emotional, bro. And he was saying that he was getting worse and worse with his judgment of people, but in the end, he was spot on, man. Ah, that was so nice. The episodes when we actually talk about Johan and when we are dealing with Johan's crimes are so fucking good. But these episodes. Where we meet new character and learn a bunch of new stories, man. These episodes are so fucking good as well. Like every single episode, you learn something, man. Alright, guys, that was Monster episodes 19 and 20. And it, as I just said, Monster is incredible show, man. When we are focusing on Johan and his murders or his past those episodes are low-key keeping me on the edge of my seat they are so interesting but these side episodes like i'm calling them side episodes but they are honestly so fucking great we have like such a diverse characters in these stories and i enjoy uh, ten mass influence on other people in some way in one way or another, they all like realize that Tenma is a wanted man and nobody is trying to get his ass, man. Everybody turns out to be helpful to, to Tenma and they decide to believe him in the end because he is such a nice human being, man. Just like that episode with the soldier who was training him to shoot the gun with the girl from Myanmar, right? Uh, and the episode with that doctor in the village and now like this him traveling with this uh couple from england man it's so nice so their son robert they were going <laughs> on these locations to that castle as well that his son described to see what he saw the view of, right you can tell that they really love their son and they're certain that their son robert had probably a good reason or the criminal deed that he did uh, perhaps it was a self-defense or something like that man and they are uh, willing to go and talk to him face to face to figure out what happened because they know that robert is a nice person and just like dr tenma right they are sure that uh, he doesn't have anything to do with those crimes man i really like that and i like how he was saying that he keeps getting worse and worse at judging people over the years, right? But now he was spot on, man. He was spot on. Really, really wholesome episode. And the episode before that, with that guy Rudy as well. Like, holy shit. The first part with... <laughs> another weirdo that was hired by Johan. That guy did something like... Uh, atrocious, something so horrible that literally makes you sick and <sighs> he clearly had like abusive childhood and yeah there is a lot of cases in real life as well that people who end up being criminals often come from fucking horrible childhoods man but not always. That's not always the case, man. But it certainly is a thing that happens quite a bit, right? But still, uh, 
what he did was so fucking horrible, bro. He deserves to die for that shit, like literally. Like, what are you supposed to to, to do to that guy? Man? The the way he grabbed Rudy by his neck, man, and then he made that like disgusting face. Like, that shit was very very creepy. So he was hired by Johan to kill Johan's foster parent, that 52 year old lady. And she's the only one that he didn't like assault, right? Uh, in a sexual way. And thanks to that episode, we learn that Johan sent those messages about his monster to these guys as well, man, which made me think that either that's like a foolproof confirmation that he's struggling with that monster inside of him or it's just simply like BS and he keeps like doing that to confuse people, man. It's so hard to tell because Johan seems extremely intelligent, man. It can go both ways. But the twist I liked with uh, Rudy was definitely the way he helped Thelma in the end, right? Just like when he was cheating with that paper on his arm, he wrote down a message for Thelma to tell him that he's surrounded by police and that he will help him escape, man. That that moment Loki made me so happy, bro, and uh, I had such a switch up when it comes to Rudy's character. And I also mentioned how uh, people often get divorced in this show, right? People dedicated to their work a lot, like Lunge, Lunge and his family, man, that was horrible. This guy, Rudy, his wife left him three years ago. You know, the uh, late Mr. Maurer also. Uh, got divorced from his wife and the doctor from the village uh, his wife literally died and she smiled while she was dying because it was the first time that he acknowledged her right he was too focused and dedicated to his work and progressing getting new higher positions as a doctor and stuff like that and that was uh, one of the themes from the very beginning with Tenma, right? Tenma was supposed to be like this prodigy. And I remember that guy, Mr. Becker, constantly like wanting Tenma to like uh, go after the girls, like abandon the surgeries, dedicate some time to himself, right? To like abuse his position or whatever. He was basically saying what he would do in his place. Man. So it's safe to say that Dr. Becker is a fucking scumbag man but yeah i just love everything about this show it's really so nice man. i really enjoy it a lot and i think i will end the video here for today guys thank you so much for watching i hope that you enjoyed if you did please consider subscribing leave a like comment all that good stuff as always check out my patreon page if you want to see full and early reactions i will be seeing you very soon with another video until then Take care and have a nice day. See ya guys.